later, hopefully we can also learn about mineral trapping. And also we can also go to time series. Okay, time series and I'm going to go to special history. Let's see for hysteresis plus solubility, special history. I want to know the CO2 as aqueous ions. Okay, no, no ion, no ionized CO2. CO2 dissolved there. Okay, because now you have CO2 dissolving into the water. So I want to know CO2 in gas. No. Okay, no problem. In liquid, no. CO2 as mineral, no. CO2 supercritical, yes. Okay, so now CO2 is in the supercritical phase and CO2 being trapped there. Okay, so let's compare it with CO2 injection hysteresis without solubility. I want to know first the CO2 dissolved at to new plot. No. And then CO2 trapped at curve there. Okay, so I have CO2 trapped this one without CO2 being dissolved. But let's check with CO2 hysteresis and solubility trapped at curve. All right. So how do I, I want to uncheck this one. Okay, so now I can compare CO2 trap here for the hysteresis plus solubility trapping and this one CO2 trap okay in you know hysteresis trapping only and yeah we can also show at the same time CO2 dissolved from hysteresis plus solubility trapping at curve okay so you see CO2 trap. This this is actually CO2 trap by hysteresis trapping. Okay, this light purple dashed line. It's CO2 being trapped by hysteresis trapping. Okay, and yeah, by I mean by hysteresis plus structural trapping, I mean, right? And and this one is now CO2 being dissolved. So CMG wants to, you know, differentiate CO2 being dissolved and CO2 being trapped. In reality, a state of this being dissolved is also a trapping, right? So CO2 dissolved is actually CO2 being trapped as well. But it, this is just a di distinction just to differentiate. So we can see CO2 being trapped means CO2, so a free CO2 being trapped by structural trapping and uh, residual tra uh, CO2 trapped by hysteresis trapping. So it's reasonable why in the case of hysteresis only, it has CO2 trap greater than CO2 trap in this case. Because in hysteresis plus solubility trapping, you have another form of trapping, which is dissolution. And it is represented by this red line. Okay. And in CO2 base case, let's check the CO2 trap. 
Okay, so here, the, you know, the, the base case, the, the CO2 being trapped is the, is the least compared to the other two cases. So you see the ability to, to calculate the hysteresis trapping is also is is actually very very important because the distinct because the difference let's see let's just compare the hysteresis versus the base case you see the difference is huge okay because now here we have residual trapping and residual trapping is very significant in terms of amount of co2 being dissolved Okay, compared to structural trapping only. All right. Okay, now I want to show the this one, of course, and this one. Okay. So and let's see, let's just compare the CO2 supercritical in three cases. Okay. You see this hysteresis plus solubility case will have sort of less CO2 supercritical why because now co2 is transferred into the water okay no longer free co2 in supercritical state now co2 is dissolved into the water it's no longer you know free co2 in supercritical state but in the case of base case and hysteresis trapping only they they, they are the same Okay. All right. I think that's all. I can go back to here. Okay. So now we have calculated the hysteresis and solubility trapping, and we compare the three cases. Hopefully, in the next series of video, we can also learn about the mineral trapping. And I think I'm going to exercise as well for another approach for CO solubility trapping, okay? Until then, see you later. Thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you so much.